Hello everybody, it's Kai. If you're new here, my name is Kai and I'm a licensed falconer out of Washington State. And this is Fabio, my Harris Hawk. And he is um, very adorable. I have nothing else to say about that um, other than he is adorable. Big stretch, look at that. He's stretching. In the, the tuck, the foot tuck. All right, anyway. <laughs> We're just going to let him stay there. If you're returning here, uh, hopefully you're doing well. Everything on my end is going pretty darn good. Um, just come in to film and kind of give you a rundown of today. He's already fed. He's happy. He's sitting on his favorite perch, which happens to be my faucet. And yeah um the gerbils are doing really well they're hanging out over in their over there in their uh little tank sleeping right now can't really film on them right now because they're asleep um they might be up later so i might film something about them then there's not a lot going on there just upkeep same with him we're on the off season so he's molting which means his feathers are falling out these are tail feathers um, and yes, they are broken tail feathers. Uh, he came to me with all but two of his feather, his tail feathers broken. So I'm saving them just in case I need them for whatever, whatever reason. Um, and I usually keep them for imping, and that's why I keep them as for imping. Which there's a whole law book on that. You can read about it. Most states. And not in most states. All states allow you to keep the tail feathers for imping. Um, yeah, so he's growing in a brand new tail feather, which is gorgeous right now. Um, and that's coming in very nicely. He's kept very fat and very happy, obviously. Most birds, you wouldn't be able to bring them inside like this, really. Maybe a peregrine. Anyway, most birds during the molt get a little hormonal. He seems fine, though. He's not tied to anything. He just kind of gets to hang out. That's why I like him. He's pretty chill. Um, he leaves the gerbils alone too, which is nice. Not like the kestrel. <laughs> the kestrel kept like going over there and pacing in front of the glass. There's a little ledge and she just would walk back and forth trying to eat the gerbils. <laughs> gerbils don't care though. They just like, they'll come out and stare at him like, like, they'll sit right in front of the glass and look at him, and he's, like, doing this to the glass. And they're just... <laughs> they're not very smart. <laughs> so I'm glad I have a lid on that thing. <laughs> Gerbils are silly. Not the brightest bulbs in the box. Um, the plumerias are doing really, really good. They're coming up nicely. They're about... Probably about this tall, so like maybe three inches tall, two and a half, somewhere in there. They're getting there. Um, everything's going well there. I'm gonna film more on those when I have to repot them. Right now, they're just sprouts. They don't really need any repotting just yet. They're getting close though. Uh, the cutting, I, I have nothing to film on it because there will literally be no change for probably a year <laughs> before it'll grow leaves. So there's really nothing besides the stick to look at. I guess what I'm saying is you can't see the change because it's happening under the soil <laughs> where it's rooting itself. <laughs> I'd film more, but it just, it'll look the same every single day for the next six months to eight months. So not gonna bother. Um, Everything else is going well. I might film a video sometime in April. It depends. Depends on when I plan to go down to where I'm going in Washington. Um, I'm supposed to help somebody look for Cooper's Hawk's nests, so I might film that around that area, which I'll travel down there and then we'll go looking and helping them find this person find a. Uh, Cooper's Hawk Nest to pull an IS from this year. Uh, we'll see though. It'll depend on like my work schedule. I start going, I go back to work in April. Um, so 
I work summers and then I usually am off in the winter. Seasonal working, woo. Um, it's great. There's really no work in the winter up here, so it's kind of just, or where I am at. It's too slow, so you get laid off. And that's okay, that's okay. I didn't want to work one day a week, so I just was like, I'm gonna leave. <laughs> And that's fine, that's great, everyone, yeah, no hours, it's okay. I get busy with Bird anyway, so I was able to focus on him, and he's a good guy. So this fall, this winter, um, we're gonna get a little bit more busy, but this spring I have maybe the Cooper's Hawk nest search going on, um, and I'll, I might film that, I don't know how much I'm gonna film there, if at all. I hope I remember, that's the problem. I have to remember to do it. You know me, I never remember things. <laughs> never remember to do stuff. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna film this, and then I get there and I don't film it, and I'm like, mmm, mmm. I get so busy. Um, yeah, so I might do that, might film that. Yeah, the Cooper Sock Nest thing is gonna be the most interesting, I guess, uh, possibility. Other than that, it's just going to be the same old. So him, gerbils, and the planting. I'm probably going to film doing some gardening here pretty quick. I don't know. Maybe I should make a separate channel for, like, gardening and all that. <laughs> I don't know. I just... Ah, oh, It would take a lot of work. But... I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? You can tell me if I should just put all my gardening stuff on a different channel, I don't know. I can just upload it here and there too. I guess it wouldn't matter. I could do it on both. Yeah. Anyway, let me know. That's all I got for you today. So, everyone have a really good Monday. And enjoy the sunshine. It's nice and warm out. <laughs> nice and warm out and everyone's having a good time he's having a great time obviously look at that little little man there he is you can see his new feather coming in kind of let me there you see the little white patch that's the tip of the feather the brand new one <laughs> all right well i'll see you guys later and do enjoy your summer and your spring it's going to be great uh, plant some flowers, plant some bulbs in your yard, get outside. Bye-bye.